Hey, what's going on folks? This is Hellbent, and today I'm going to release the newest update to the Smart Clicker version 1 series. Uh, this one is Smart Clicker version 1.2.3. It is an, I, pretty much an identical clone to the last version. This has just got a new skin, and in this video I'm going to talk through it rather than play music in the background. So, let's have a quick look at what it looks like. So this one's got a red theme, just reskinned buttons, reskinned controls etc etc I'm gonna go over how to use it in a second but if you would rather have if you're this is your first time seeing this smart clicker this is the previous version right here so if you'd rather have the dark darker themed version I'll leave a link in the description to the video where you can get a copy of it this is going to be available as copy and paste so you don't have to download this auto clicker with the only exception being that if you you'll need to have auto hotkey on your computer in order to run it. If you don't have auto hotkey on your computer, which is the scripting language that this is written in, that's the thing that you'll have to download. But once you have auto hotkey on your computer, if you see anything else on my channel that you want to get, there typically everything is all in open source text format. So you don't have to download the auto clicker, but if you don't have auto hotkey, you're not going to be able to run it. So you'll have to download auto hotkey. I'll go in a in a few minutes. I'll go over how to get a copy of auto hotkey. I already have it set up. So let's have a look at what this does. This is before anyone asks. No, this is not for Minecraft or games like that. This is a fixed position auto clicker. So that means you set a position on your screen and it clicks that spot and that spot only. What this does though is it's made so that way you don't click on things that you don't want to click on. And you don't have to have a lot, memorize a bunch of hotkeys. You don't have to press any hotkeys to stop it and start it. It does that on its own. So let's go through how to set it up. First thing I need to do is I need to set a target window. If that window isn't active, when then my auto clicker isn't going to click. So I don't have to worry about clicking on a window that I don't want to click on. So I'm going to hit set window and then click on the window that I want to set. Sometimes you'll come across a window that the title of it changes every now and then. If that's the case, like this window right here, which is why I'm using it, right now the name of this window is zero cookies dash cookie clicker. But if I click on the cookie a couple of times, the title of the window changes. So what I need to do is I need to edit this so that way the first part of the name is gone and I just keep the part of the name that always stays the same. I'm going to update the window and I'm good. Now no matter how many times this window changes its name, it's still going to work the way I want it to. Next thing I need to set a position of where I want to click. So since this game, this is where I'm going to be wanting to click, I'm going to set a position in the middle of there. Now that I have a position, how this works is if I move my cursor close to that spot, it's going to start clicking. If I move my cursor away from that spot, it's going to stop clicking. So I don't have to press any hotkeys or anything like that. It does it on its own. How this works is it draws a box around that spot that I had picked and I can adjust the size of it to however big or small I want. I really recommend leaving these as about 80 pixels by 80 pixels. You don't want it to be too big. I can see what that looks like by hitting view box. So if I move my cursor into that red box, it'll start clicking. If I move my cursor out, it'll stop clicking. That means I can move, move it in to start clicking and then when I'm ready, I can go move it out and do other things. Next thing is using click delay. If I want to have no delay at all in between clicks and have it click as fast as it can, I turn it off. If I want to set a delay in between each time it clicks, so it'll click and then wait a little while and then click and then wait a little while, I turn on the use click delay and set in milliseconds how long do I want to wait. So if I want to click 20 times per second, I'd set about 50 milliseconds. Turbo mode uses more of your computer's idle time. So what this means is normally there's a every now and then it'll automatically put in a delay of about 10 milliseconds. If I want this auto clicker to click as fast as it possibly can, I'm going to turn off the use click delay, turn on turbo mode, and this thing will click up to a thousand times per second. If I'm using click delay and turbo mode at the same time, there's only a slight difference. You wouldn't know it's almost pointless to use turbo mode if you're using click delay. There's a slight, you get a slight performance enhancement, but it's, it's negligible. 
The last thing is settings and info. In settings and info, there is this thing called set mouse delay. This has to do with how long it's going to hold down the cursor, hold down the mouse before releasing it. So some applications, if you click it too fast, it's not going to register it. So for example, if I'm clicking too fast, I might I might actually click a hundred times, but it might only register five times. If that's the case, increase the delay. This is in milliseconds. You can set this between negative 1 and positive 500, 5,000, 5 million, whatever. The auto clicker also has some sounds for a few of the buttons. So if you don't want the sounds, beeps, you can turn off sounds. That's it. I have everything set up. I have the window. I have the position. I have my delay. I am ready to go. So I turn on the auto clicker and then activate the window and then move my cursor into that box it starts clicking when I want it to stop I don't have to press any keys or anything I just move my cursor out when I'm ready to start again I just move my cursor back in and it starts clicking again so there's no need for hotkeys but just in case you do something stupid like set this to be oh I think I actually did I actually limit yeah I guess I did if you make it something like 999999 right which is very stupid to do what you can do is press escape and that'll stop the auto clicker so that's the only I think I mentioned it in here yeah so stop hotkey is escape so that's the only hotkey you have to worry about and even that you don't even have to worry about because most of the time you're not going to be an idiot and set this to 999999 okay that's how this works let's go over how to get a copy in order to get this you need to have auto hotkey on your computer if you don't have it you can google search auto hotkey and it should be the first result which will bring you to here and then download the latest version uh, this will give you the install wizard whatever blah 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 go through that set it up once you have that you'll be able to create new scripts so go to a folder or on your desktop right click and go to new and then you should have this option to create a new auto hotkey script go ahead and do that give this a name smart clicker blah 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 once you've named it, right click on it and go to edit script. If you don't, I have a nice editor that I do all my programming in. You're probably not going to have that. So when you hit edit script, it's going to open up a notepad. All you're going to do is going to take the script, paste it in there, save it, and then you're going to come back here and run it. Let's go through that process right now. So I'm going to edit this. For me, it it doesn't open up a notepad it automatically opens up in my editor but like I said you probably aren't gonna have an editor like mine so it's gonna open up a notepad you're gonna see these four lines of code up at the top of, your, of the script go ahead and delete them and then in the description of the video there's going to be a link to a paste bin page where you can get the text go ahead and go there and then hit raw and you'll see all the raw text that you need Select anywhere in this window, hit Control A to highlight everything, Control C to put it into your clipboard, and then go back to the notepad and paste it in. Save it, and then you're done. You can close out a notepad. Go back to where you had created your script, and you can either double click on it, or you can right click on it and hit Run Script. And then you'll get this, and that's it. Hope you enjoy. Peace. I am out.